Uh, what's up, everybody? It's Steady with the Countdown to the Geek Cast, and it's a glorious occasion. We have one of the uh, most formidable, biggest, baddest horror icons of all time, Tyler Mean in San Antonio. How's it going, brother? It's going good, man. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. I yeah, wanted to make sure pleasure. we were standing. That way people can understand right. exactly what I mean by most formidable <laughs> and uh, baddest. You were my favorite Michael Myers. You worked with Rob Zombie on Halloween yeah, uh, and also H2. 2007, 2009. Um, first, let me ask you, how was the... And also did the Devil's Rejects with Rob. You did also do the Devil's Rejects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's correct. Yeah, I was Rufus. Uh, what is your favorite or most memorable moments with working on not uh, Halloween as well as H2? You know, just everybody that came together because for the first one we kind of created a family there and everybody got along real well yeah and then the second one everybody came back yeah so it was it was fantastic yeah you know and just getting to work with Rob work with Scout Danielle uh, Malcolm it was just an amazing experience absolutely yeah. uh, you bring up Scout and, and the Danielle kills are pretty awesome too some of the, the best kills, kills in the kills franchise for awesome. sure <laughs> you bring up Scout and Danielle they actually were here last weekend you just missed them yeah yeah they're fantastic I have another question yeah, for you hearts. later on about I that just, I just did an uh, episode of their podcast I don't know if it's out or not really yeah, I, well. we gotta check that out uh, <laughs> talk scary to me find them on yeah. uh, Spotify Patreon <laughs> all over the place uh, tell us about the moment that scout stabbed you this oh was an experience on set <laughs> i think this you is the first scene that you filmed day one day one tell us about that okay well we were doing the basement sorry scene. scout by the way sorry scout. <laughs> oh she knows she, she she might have a different recollection of this but uh we're in the basement scene and i am presenting her with a picture and she's supposed to go to stab me yeah course the guy the prop guy didn't switch out the knives it was the real knife and uh, Rob likes to let things go could get it all natural and, and stuff so Scout is doing her crying picks up the knife and nails me like right there oh my god and luckily she's weak <laughs> sorry Scout you were back then you're not now. No, not at uh, all. Not at all. But uh, she hit me with a knife, and then she realized it was a real knife. She goes, well, you had a piece of cardboard under there. <laughs> well, I did have a little piece of cardboard for extra protection, which didn't help that much. Did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, oh, my God, I just stabbed you. I go, yes, you did. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And then, and then after that, the scene running up the staircase, yeah. there was the staircase led to nowhere. There was just a little shelf yeah right or a little ledge yeah and so she goes through the door i'm running up to the door and someone said wasn't rob someone said keep going so i burst through the door and scout starts falling off the ledge oh my and god and it was like a 20 30 foot fall oh so wow. i grabbed her and pulled her back in i was like screw this holy <laughs> so cow that was our first day of filming and then we had another couple months after that so and things got safer as time went on hopefully yes <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> tell me about i own a, a very high quality michael myers mask and i love the feeling of just putting it on did you have this sort of unusual or just sort of i don't know transformative sort of feeling or process you went to kind of getting into the mindset of michael yeah, you know, I mean, the very first time I put it on, of course, you have the jumpsuit on and right. and got all dirtied up the hands and everything. And then when Wayne Toth handed me the mask, put the mask on, and the props guy hands me the knife, it is surreal. Yes. And it's like, okay, we got some killing to do. Yeah. You know? And it's I time to go to work. Exactly. Yeah. You know? And I in the beginning, I watched all of them to see what the other guys did and I yeah. wanted to just bring a little more to it. You I know, gotcha. Turn it, I, I, I wanted to make him more than a one-dimensional character. Sure. And that's what I think Rob did was show in the background of how, you know, he's a product of his environment and yeah. he was, you know. Absolutely. Turned you, into what he was. You say, uh, you know, try and make it your own and try and bring a little bit of a transformative arc or element to it. Was that also one of the reasons why he's not very audible in the first one but in the second one there's 
some grunts when he does some actions. There's more like noises that he's actually yeah. doing. In the yeah, I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I guess Rob wanted it to be more visceral and more sure, sure, rock sure. and like. But um, for me, I just uh, wanted to make sure that it was intense all the way from beginning to end. You know? Absolutely. You're not only in the Halloween universe, but you also have been in the Marvel sort of uh, extended universe. Yes. You were the original yes. Sabretooth, uh, by far the more comic, comic accurate one. And the uh, Marvel Studios these days, they seem to be picking people from previous projects and iterations of movies. Should you ever get a call that says, hey, we'd like to do something with Sabretooth, bring him into the fold, into this, this next part of our phase. If you get a call like that one day from Kevin Feige, uh, how interested or how fast are you saying yes to, to join them on a future project? Kevin? Give me a call. Let's talk. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fantastic. I would love, no, I would love to reprise that role, you know, and, and, and take him to the depth that he needs to be, you know. Absolutely. Because he is an intense character and he needs his his due time. Absolutely. No, I, I, I love, love that. I love to just take him deep, you know. So. I love that. I love that. Uh, Tyler's going to be here uh, until 6 p.m. today. Is that correct? Uh, five or six, something like that. I've got a plane to catch, but we are at the Andes Treasure Chest down at Trader's Village. Trader's right? Village, Trader's west side Village. of San Antonio. This is a really cool place. you got to come check out all the stuff around there. Yeah, he'll be here until 5 p.m. today, so you have plenty of time to make your way down here. He's going to be taking photos as well as signing autographs. I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, this is my last question. It's something I've been wanting to ask you specifically for quite some time. Um, there was a Q&A that Rob did when uh, H2 opened. Mm -hmm. And uh, he sounded um, a little deflated in a lot of ways. He said that his experience uh, wasn't as good as it was when he filmed the first one. Um, watching the movie as well, there seemed to kind of be a story that he wanted to tell. And there so was. I'm actually, I kind of guessed or I theorized that maybe the studio took over change what he wanted to do is that any way accurate yeah the original script was amazing really if, he if they would have just let him do his thing and let us do our thing that would have been great but they kept pulling from the budget and stuff and uh they took about five million of the budget and said hey rob you need to do uh advertisements for it you know yeah teasers trailers whatever and took it out of the budget so wow. then things had to change so that's why you have the glass coffin that's why you have the Halloween pumpkin heads that's why you have a lot of this stuff because Rob's like if I'm gonna spend that money on it I'm gonna figure out how to put it in the movie gotcha because you know and then they were rewriting trying to rewrite all the time and I'm like just let him do his thing, you know? Yeah, get out of but his yeah, way. Yeah, Rob would come into my trailer after having some of those meetings and just sit there and go, I can't believe they did this. But yeah, Poor guy. it was, yeah. So was a, a much different experience than it was filming the first one for right. sure. Yeah. So, uh, well, you know, I mean, you get too many cooks in the kitchen and you I got you. and wine steams, I don't know. So, so my, anyway. my theory was always that um, there was probably the original story, and just correct me if I'm off base here, the original story might have involved Lori either having some sort of a mental breakdown or her sort of committing some of these atrocities herself, but maybe having Michael as a, as a, something that's kind of possessed her mind, not literally, but metaphorically in a way, anything yeah, like I, that? I, you know, I can't remember exactly what it was because I, I used to wrestle back in the day. I've been dropped on my head a lot, so my memory isn't quite. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> but, um, it, it, I just remember reading and going, wow, this is going to be interesting. Because it, it was, you know, Michael Myers is here. Yeah. And he's going here. And then Lori is doing the downhill spell. And they meet in the middle. And it was yeah. really, really cool. But didn't get to do that. Regardless, so. uh, we love you as Michael Myers. And I appreciate those films so much. Like I mentioned when we, uh, when we first started, you by far my, my favorite Michael. Just oh, thank so you. Thank you. large and intense and just brutal, so brutal. What's your favorite kill of mine? The the first one in the bathroom because you manhandled oh, Joe Grizzly. Joe Grizzly. Uh, you yeah. just tossed yeah. him around and he's probably not that much shorter than you are. He's yeah. a big sure individual. <laughs> <laughs> the Joe Grizzly kill is my favorite because you, you see exactly how powerful this Michael is compared to all the others. 
Right. Like, this is intimidating. Like, most of the time you watch Michael Myers or Halloween movies, and I'm like, I'll be fine. I'll just jog. I can run for a while. He won't catch me. But no, this this Michael, I'm like, you know what? I'm terrified. I'm just going to freeze. We're and then kick it up a bit. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. Tyler Maine, he's going to be here. Trader's Village until 5 p.m. today. Come see him. Get a photo. Get an autograph. Tyler, thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Take it easy. Peace.